What's up, a family? It's the Common Sense Investor coming at you again with another video. This evening, I want to take a look at a couple of comments that were left on one of my videos about are they covering right now. I think Eric says here, I think the better question is who is selling. Can't buy what's not for sale. So how can they cover with no one selling to them? I'm going to answer that question. Someone, Jason writes, someone please help me understand something. I keep hearing people say they have to buy back the shares. They have to cover. I get it. According to the rules, they have to. But if these are assholes who don't play by the rules, why are we so confident that they will play by that one? If the government is shady as shit, talks a big game, but don't do shit, know about insider trading, but just look the other way, why are we so confident these guys will be held accountable? This is not FUD, just your average Joe here holding X amount of shares about to burn out and trying my best to understand where I should get a refreshment of hope. Any help would be grateful. Thanks, y'all. Jason, I'm here to try to give you some hope. I know your question's not FUD. There's a lot of investors out there right now who are thinking the same thing. What's the use? What's the use of holding on? They're just going to keep dragging it out. And Eric's question of who's doing the selling is what we're going to be addressing as I give you some hope that you've asked for. All right. We're going to take a look at Nancy. Nancy here buys 25 shares of AMC at $33 a share in December. The broker then swaps Nancy's money with 25 shares of AMC. What happens after that is they take Nancy's 25 share purchase and it goes into this circle. These are the number of shares that can be bought of AMC. So now Nancy just bought 25 shares. So she goes into the pot here and she has 25 shares along with everybody else here to sell. That includes I'm in here, you're in here, Black Rock's in here, Vanguard's in here, Nancy from Kansas got in here today. Now, where is all the problems going to come in? There's only 513 million shares. There's only 410 million shares on the market right now inside of this circle that are legal. All the rest are illegal. They're naked. They were said they were purchased and given to you, and you were lied to by the market maker. That's what all this shit's about. Now, I got 20 billion shares here. Don't give me shit in the comments. If you believe it's 10 billion, great. If you think it's 5 billion, wonderful. A lot of people believe it's 20 billion, so I just use that as an example. But the point's going to be made very clear. When the shorts cover, that means they are covering the 97 million shares that they are short right now. All right, and you can see that that's represented in this scope right here that's missing. When the, when the 97 million shares by the shorts start being purchased back, the real, real shorts, this is going to deplete their inventory because people are going to begin to sell. They are supposed to have the inventory to cover what's in this circle for them. And... 97 million shares are going to be bought, which means 97 million are going to be sold, and that's going to deplete their inventory. Now, let's say during the squeeze, the price moves up to 150. Well, at $150, we're going to say 410 million decide to sell. And before you give me shit in the comments, when this thing hits $150, that's more money than most people seen in a while. If you think somebody's going to hold to 100000 God bless your heart. I got the little hand here. Get paid, motherfuckers. But the fact is, out of 20 billion shares, 410 million shares is a drop in the bucket. But here's how it works. It's at $150. Now, they have no more inventory. Because 400 million shares have been sold. 
and they bought them they used their inventory up to make the transaction but we still got 19 billion shares over here does the market maker need your shares at this point the answer is no and before you click off listen why the market maker who has no inventory whatsoever of AMC shares now, they don't need these shares. Not until this person right here decides they want to sell. It's at 150, it's moved up to 180, and they say, fuck it, they're going to sell. 180. When they push the sell button, now the market maker needs that share. He don't need it as long as you're not selling. People can want to buy and you can continue to hold. The market maker don't need them shares or to produce these shares until you sell. Now once you sell, the market maker has to go into the market, find somebody willing to share it whatever price they want for it to deliver your share to you. That's when they need it. They don't need your share as long as you're in here. They're going to need your shares when you decide to come out of this circle and sell at whatever price it is. When you come out the circle at your price of $800, then the market maker, he doesn't have any shares to give you. He has to buy the $800 a share to pay you for your share so you can exit the circle. And as each person, he doesn't need any other ones until Susie from Kalamazoo decides she wants to sell her 35 shares at $1,250. When that happens, Market Maker has to come up with 35 shares. So he goes in here and he buys 35 shares, turns them over to you. You come out and the 35 shares come out with you at $1,250. This is going to continue, and it continues to rise until eventually there's no other synthetic share or naked shares in the pool, and they no longer need to cover anymore. That's how the squeeze happens, people. First, they're going to cover the $97 million. That's going to cause the price to go up. As the price moves up and more people sell, when the $410 million are gone, that means their inventory is gone, and that's when the fun begins. Because the next person that pushes the sell button at 800, they don't have any more inventory. They have to go buy it at 800 to turn it over to you. And by that time, it might be 1200. So, I made the comment they were covering. So let me get to that. Which one was it? Do, 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 do. This one. Now, Nancy bought 25 shares of AMC at 33 in December, remember? Now, when the squeeze begins to happen, and we want to get them caught up right here and right here, the price has fallen. The price has fallen to 27. Now, we know the squeeze is coming. We know they have to buy back the 97 million shares. They know they have to buy back the 97 million shares. So, we can anticipate this price action move as they do. As that happens, they, they are on the hook for that share, 25 shares, at 150 instead of 33. Now, I said they were covering now because I'm putting myself in the place of places like Robin Hood, Weeble, Public, E-Trade, Charles Schwab. Put yourself as a CEO. Nancy bought the shares at 33, and we know that we know that we know that the price is going to go to here, at least. So the smartest thing to do is while it's at 27, go ahead buy the shares and what are they doing with the shares they are putting them i won't do it over here they're putting them back in here in other words right now 
at $27 a share, at $22 a share, whatever, at $20 a share, at $19 a share. They are buying shares out of this pool to put in their inventory so that when this person does click, there'll be a share over here. So basically what they're doing is they're increasing their vault right now. So that when you do hit, they do have the share to cover you. The squeeze is supposed to happen when they run out of fucking shares and we hit the sell button at 800. But instead, with the price being so low, they're able to buy right now at 20. Where's he at? Damn. Here, they're able to buy. Let's see, the stock price right now, fuck it. 19 they're able to buy right now at 19 what she purchased in December for 33 so basically what I'm saying when I say they cover I mean they are putting inventory into their vault to cover when you push your sale button at 800 they'll have a share over here and they only had to pay $20 for some bits that's how I'm saying they're covering so then you say, well, who's selling? There's 20 billion shares here. Let's take a look at this comment again. I'm about to burn out and trying my best to understand where should I get a little refreshment of hope. See, Jason? Jason's not the only one that feels this way. There are other people who feel like this is just bullshit, man. They're tired of handle, being handled by these people. They'd rather take the loss and they're getting out. All right, rather they bought it, 33, 27, whatever. But you can, you can be rest assured, Eric, that who's selling? It's anybody inside this circle. It's anybody. It could be BlackRock. BlackRock's in this circle with 9 million shares they just bought. So they in this circle. They will sell them shares for $20 a fucking share to their buddies who are building up what? Their inventory for when this shit storm happens. So that's how it works. I hope I made it a little bit clear. God damn, I didn't mean to go 12 minutes, but I love y'all and I thought y'all needed to understand that we don't have 410 million outstanding shares. We got 20 billion outstanding shares. And until you hit that sell button, they don't need it. They have shares. And then once their shares are gone, they still don't need it till you hit the sell button at 1200 Now they need a share. So get it out your mind that they need your shares because if nobody sells at this point, if everybody continues to hold, they don't need that share. I love y'all and I hope this makes sense.